41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez live in Leewood tonight. And Andres, I understand you talked to one woman who said the suspect drove in between her house and her neighbor. Yeah, that's right, Mike. This guy not only drove the wrong way on the highway, he also ended up hopping curbs and going through people's yards. Just take a look at these tire marks he left in front of this house that end up going through around the home and straight into that golf course. A fender bender with police turned into an hour long odyssey for this criminal. The reckless journey spanning five cities in the metro. Gail Sheedy saw a portion of it from her kitchen window. Was him coming across my backyard right onto the golf course. The stolen Nissan Frontier that crashed into a police car in Midtown Kansas City darted past her house and through the 11th hole of the Leewood South Country Club. The police cars were right behind him. During the chase, the driver popped into Sheedy's next door's neighbor's garage hoping to steal a car. I was inside um, listening to a helicopter fly over this morning, trying to figure out what was going on. All of a sudden I hear an officer uh, saying, uh, uh, police, please open the door. And so, of course, I opened the door and came out here. And the gentleman asked me if I knew that, uh, if I asked me if I had left the door open on my uh, vehicle. They're very conscious of being safe, so um, he never ever would have come up with car keys in that garage. He came up empty. His next stop, the Calico Farm Apartments on 113th Terrace in South Kansas City. Here, he dumped the Nissan truck and carjacked a maintenance worker. Cops arrested the man at 105th and Waldron in Kansas City. It was the type of thing that it took a while to process what was happening. You're thinking, I didn't really see that. <laughs> Sheedy says it was a bewildering scene for this typically quiet street. Nothing ever happens, ever. I can't even tell you the last time someone had a bike stolen, nothing. And uh, I'm really surprised because the person driving the truck made a bad choice. And now she does tell me that she's glad that this didn't happen during Christmas break when there are more children out on these streets. And get this, this driver did reach speeds of up to 100 miles an hour today. Reporting live in Leewood, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.